Okay, here's a quick video tutorial on how to use the app called Soundtrap. You can also use just the website for Soundtrap uh, to record your audio communication um, segments that you need for your uh, recording. So look, if you click on a new tab, of course, be logged into your Gmail first, like always. Click on a new tab. You're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. You can search for it if the little icon doesn't show up there. And in the search, you're going to type in sound trap, all one word, and search for it. And here it is, sound trap for education. That's what we want. We're going to add to Chrome. I'm going to add the app here. I'll zoom in a little bit so maybe you can see. That's what it says there, add the app. There it is, right there. Click on that guy. Uh, there's the option of signing in with Google+, Plus, which is basically the same thing as signing in with your Gmail. So I click on that. <clears throat> and it knows that I'm Mr. Paterini, or Stephen P, as the case may be. Up there you can see that. There's the name and uh, enter the studio. You can see there's some work I did in the past. If you're starting, you won't see anything there, I'm guessing. Okay. Hear the music's class in the background. Now, once you're here, this is what you uh, need to work on. Um, this is what it's going to look like when you make a new track. Uh, and we're going to use the computer mic. Uh, and here's this business here. But what I really want to do first is watch the tutorials. And if you click up here, there's a thing called tutorials and video tutorials. Now there's three that I most want you to watch. There's certainly the getting started, playing with loops. Uh, but the most important two that you're going to want to watch to be able to do your work here are how to record vocals. Hello, we're going to be recording vocals and how to work with tracks. Uh, I wouldn't worry so much about collaboration with friends here and getting started. Yeah, I guess that's the first one there anyway. This is kind of an overview one, but how to record vocals is really important and you're probably going to refer to that most when you're trying to get the microphone to work and actually get sound to work for you. So I would tell you to watch the videos at this point and uh, then you're going to get started recording your tracks. Good luck. Okay, so here we are in Soundtrap trying to record for the uh, audio module. Uh, in the last part of the video, you should have uh, learned how to uh, open it up and find the video tutorials. If we click and enter the studio, it gives us what looks like a blank slate here. And uh, we're going to start recording something, so I'm going to click on Add New Track, Use Computer Mic. I'm going to click on that. I need to click here to actually allow it to record that little R there. I don't know, here I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that R is enable or disable recording. And uh, I probably want to be able to hear it. And then I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see the whole thing again. Down the bottom here is a little record button. When I click that, it gives me a little countdown up here, it says get ready. And now I'm talking into the microphone. You can't see because it's off here to the right of the thing. But I'm recording and you can see the seconds ticking off at the top. And I'm going to see how this goes. Now I'm going to hit stop. And if I click into editor mode, it shows me the little sound waves. You can kind of see much like it showed you in the video, it's got these little squiggles here. That's a good sign, those squiggles. It tells me that something got recorded. So if I come back down to the bottom here and click the play button, let's see what we hear. Oops, got to click it at the beginning. And now I'm talking into the microphone. You can't see because it's off here to the right of the thing. But I'm recording, and you can see the seconds ticking off at the top. And I'm going to see how this goes. Now I'm going to hit stop. 
So that's effectively the end of the track right there at the end of this pink thing. If I wanted to then uh, record a second track, I would click Add New Track. So this is what you and your partner will be doing to record your news, your sports, your weather tracks. But well, one thing I would say is it's very easy to confuse all these little squiggles here. If you click on this little gear here, uh, it's for uh, settings. And there's a thing here called Rename. And we'll call that Mr. Pat intro and when I click out here now that says Mr. Pat intro there what you might do is write you know Joey's news or Billy's weather or Sally's sports whatever your partner's name is or your name is and it'll just keep things a lot more neatly organized okay uh, I'm gonna record one more time and do a second track just so you can see what's going on with that so if I start my cursor somewhere over here click add new track use computer mic, use computer mic. It was kind of weird. I sort of had an echo on my voice there. That's what's called a reverb, and I'm going to turn that down because that was just kind of weirdness there. Uh, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to... This goes. Now I'm going to hit stop. Okay, so now I'm recording into the microphone off to the side that you can't see. Um, it's the one that's standing on the table on the pedestal. Uh, and that's the main mic it seems to be working for us and this is my second recording so I will probably label it that once again clicking on the editor mode here you can see my track here oh, what happened to my first track gotta be a way I can go back to the beginning ah there so these little uh, keys down here you can use a navigate back and forth. But if you look, I've got now two tracks here. And I'll just start it here. You've heard most of that first track. If I hit play down here. And I'm going to see how this goes. Now I'm going to hit stop. Now you should hear my new track starting with less reverb. Okay, so now I'm recording into the microphone off to the side that you can't see. Um, it's the one that's standing on the table on the pedestal. Uh, and that's the main mic it seems to be working for us. And this is my second recording, so I will probably label it that. And you can kind of see how that little red cursor cruises across the top of the screen there. Um, that's kind of how you keep track of things. And, uh, of course, I'm going to hit stop here. I would um, go into settings, rename, call that. Mr. Pat number two or something like that. Again, you might call it sports or news or weather. And so then it's real easy for me to tell these two tracks apart from each other. Uh, clicking down the bottom here is a real handy tool. This guy brings you all the way back to the beginning. So when you look up here, kind of back at the beginning. And uh, needless to say, if you don't like a track, it's pretty easy to delete. You can just click here. And it says delete track, so if I didn't like that one, I could delete it pretty easily. Um, so you're basically going to have to mess around. You're certainly going to make mistakes and have to do some things over, but recording the tracks, labeling them, and uh, then going back and listening to them is going to be the way you're going to uh, go off and uh, get this thing happening. Uh, one more thing up here, you have a save button, and that's pretty important. If you click on that, save it. <clears throat> and it called it Steven's song number two. I guess I can edit that if I wanted to call it Mr. Pat's recording or something. Uh, in case you couldn't see, I'll zoom in there. So right up here, I uh, can change that to Mr. Pat demo. When I click out there, do I wish to save it as a new project? No, that's the same project. And there it is. Now it's got that name. So I know this is a lot of information kind of quick, but uh, you know what? You're just going to have to dive in and figure it out. So good luck.